What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Bourbon of the Week. My name's Chris. I'm going to be your host for today. I hope everybody enjoyed their Thanksgiving. I know I'm probably laying on the couch a little bit too hungover from way too much wild turkey yesterday. I hope you guys are feeling all right. But today for you, we have a 107 proof blind. We've got Weller Antique 107. We've got WB Saffle and we've got Baker 7. I've decided to keep our old Rip Van Winkle tenure out of this, although it is 107 proof as well. But you know the deal, we have our great whiskey challenge tasting kit, guys. I use this kit more than anything else in my collection other than my actual bourbon. So make sure you check them out. Link in the description below, BOTW10 at checkout. And we're going to pour these up. We've got A, B, and C, and we're going to see which one we like the best. Let's do this. And of course, we got to mix these up. Now we're sufficiently mixed, so everybody knows before we get started, time for the traditional sip. Cheers, y'all. This one's gonna be good. So here's how we're gonna do this today. We're gonna start with the Antique 107. We're gonna go to the WB Saffle and we're gonna talk about the Baker's seven to end things. Obviously, as we drink through our glasses here, but they're not going to correspond unless for some reason they ended up together. The reason that I put them in this order is because that's the order I think it's going to end up in. I think Antique 107 is going to win. I think WB Saffle is going to be a very close second. And then I think Jim Beam and the Baker seven is kind of gonna bring up the tail end here. Now that's not to say anything bad about the Jim Beam. I just don't think that it's going to hold up to the quality that I love out of these two bottles over here. Obviously I've had all three of them already. I think the WB Saville could honestly sneak into first place here, but we don't know about any of that until we try it. I close my eyes while I drink these just so you guys don't think I'm cheating and look at the bottom of the glass. Although I film on a phone here, so I can't even see what you guys see right now. Let's get into glass number one. So the one thing that we do know about all these bottles is they're obviously 107 proof. That's why we're doing this today. We'll start off with the Weller Antique 107, which is our only weeded bourbon out of the three that we have up here. This MSRP is around 50 bucks. I think it's going on the secondary market today, probably in that 140 to 150 range. I know people in Ohio who used to be able to get this all the time, and it seems like it's even fading around there. So I don't know how accessible this is to you, but here in Pennsylvania, it's almost impossible to find. Now, I will say the one thing that I'm looking for on these glasses to distinguish the Jim Beam is going to be the nuttiness. And then I feel like I should be able to pick out the weeded bourbon over the Campari group here, over the Wild Turkey. We all know Wild Turkey is my favorite. I just put out a video on Wednesday ranking them on a tier list. So make sure you guys check that out while I get into glass number two right here. Well, don't check it out now. Check it out after the video. So just a couple of sips of each of these, and this does kind of taste like the Weller, and this second glass does kind of taste like the Wild Turkey. So if these ended up in order, that would be crazy. But let's talk about WB Saffle just a little bit. This is a $50 bottle, but remember this is only 375 milliliters. So really it's a $100 bottle, the most expensive bottle out of the three that we're dealing with today. This is coming out of Wild Turkey, so we know it's 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malted barley, the greatest mash bill of all time. And again, this is the Whiskey Baron collection, so it has that Eddie Russell influence, while the other two bottles in this collection, Old Rippy and Bond and Lillard, do not have Eddie Russell or Jimmy Russell involved, which I still don't know how that works if it's coming out of Wild Turkey. Are they literally making whiskey without them and just storing it for the Whiskey Baron collection, or did they have some type of influence on it? I guess I'll never know. But let's get into glass number three here and see what this is all about. That's Jim Beam. It's got to be Jim Beam. I get the nuttiness on that. These might have ended up in order. And unless I'm confusing these two, and maybe my palate is just all off tonight, which is very possible. Trust me, I've been wronger before. Is wronger a word? I've been more wrong before. So we're going to go back through here and we're going to try these again. But let's talk about Baker's seven year. This is a single barrel. It does say it's a seven year, but right on the top, it's going to tell you eight years and eight months when it comes to this bottle over here, 107 proof. And this MSRP is, I believe it's about $60 these days, but don't quote me on that one. I've got to take another sip of this just to see if I really get that nuttiness on here. But Baker 7 actually used to be a small batch. I would have loved to try the small batch version of this before in 2019 they turned it into a single barrel. It used to be like 200 barrels or something like that. So a small batch Jim Beam 107 proof. And the reason I'm doing a 107 proof blind today is because that's right in my wheelhouse of like my favorite proof. Anywhere from 107 to about 115 is where I really think bourbon shines. So let's take another sip of this and see what we think. 
I really do think that that's Jim Beam, and I think that these are actually in order. But the thing is, I might like this one better than I like this second one. And the hardest thing about doing blinds is one, I never pour enough just because I don't want to over pour, but at the same time, you need to have enough to taste it throughout the whole video and not have to pour more because you can't pour more because you don't know which one's which, at least until the end. So we're going to go through here again. Right now, I'm saying this is my number one, this is my number two, and this is my number three. And I still think that this is Weller, this is WB Saffle, and this is the Baker 7. There's only one way to find out. I'm going back to number two here just to make sure I'm not messing anything up. This is still really good, but I think I'm starting to change my opinion on this one right here. I think this is the Weller Antique 107, only because I get a little bit more spice when it comes to the wild turkey line. And this has a little bit more spice on it, but we gotta revisit it to make sure. Absolutely, this is going to be wild turkey. This is WB Saffle. This is going to be the Weller Antique 107, and this is going to be Baker's. Now the question is, which one do I like the best? And do I like the Bakers more than the Weller Antique 107? And I think I may, which means this might be in third because as of right now, this is still in front. So I will say right before I started this video, literally like 20 minutes ago, I put a poll on Instagram saying who would win a blind taste out of these three bottles just to kind of get a feel for what other people would think. They did have Weller Antique 107 winning at the time, but it only had like eight or nine votes on it. WB Saffle had like one or two votes. Baker's seven had like one or two votes and then Antique had the rest of them. And much like me, I also think Antique is going to win this. But as of right now, if I do think that this is the Antique 107, I think it might end up in last behind Jim Beam Baker's. And again, I just have to imagine that this is the Baker's and nothing else. It's got to, it's literally got to be the Baker's. If I'm wrong on this, I'm going to be embarrassed to be quite honest with you. I'm going to take one more small sip. I'm going to try and decide which one's which. Then I'm going to take the last sip of each and I'm going to put them in the ranking order that I think it is. So let's start over here on the left. One small sip. Try and guess what it is just to make sure. WB Saffle. I'm sticking with my guns here. That is WB Saffle. Let's get into glass number two. That has, that has to be the Weller. It's, it's so easy to drink. It's so smooth, but at the same time, it's almost like one dimensional compared to what I'm getting off the WB Saffle here. And that could very well easily be reversed. And just me in my head thinking I love wild turkey saying that I want it to taste like this. These two could still be reversed, but this one right here, it literally has to be Jim Beam or else I'm retiring from bourbon from here on out. I just got to stick with my guts here. This is the WB Saffle. This is the Weller Antique 107. This is the Jim Beam Baker 7. But which order do I think they go in? We're going to try each one of these one more time. We'll put them on our podium and then we'll reveal which one's which at the very end. But hey, if you've stuck around this long, might as well click that like and that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 5,000 by the end of the year and I really need your help. We're close, but we're not close enough. Let's finish these off. This is, this is honestly hard. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. These are a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. By the way, the Sixers game's on right now in the background. We don't have Maxi Harden or Embiid. We're playing the Brooklyn Nets, so Ben Simmons is back in town for the first time, and we're up right now in the third. That's huge. Gotta love that. But listen, where are we gonna rank these? I think I am going to put this in my first place. I gotta do it. Jim Beam in the second place, and then this in the third place. I'm not sure on these two bottles. I'm almost positive on this one, but there's only one way to find out the big reveal. Let's get to it. I'm a little bit nervous here, but let's get to the last one. I always like to make sure that there's nothing left in the glass when I flip it over. B, WB Saffle, ladies and gentlemen, in third place. That means... That means, am I right on Jim Beam? Because that'll be huge. Because I did think that those two might have been switched, but I wasn't sure. First of all, Wild Turkey doesn't deserve to be in third place, do they? I love this WB Saffle. It's also $100 compared to $50 and $60, although you can't ever find this at 50 bucks. But enough, I'm rambling. Let's get into second place. What was it? Please, I'm literally quitting if this is not Jim Beam. C. 
Jim Beam. Thank goodness. And ladies and gentlemen, that means A, or what am I? Yes, A is your winner, which is first place, which means this is in first place. Our Jim Beam is in second place and our WB Saffle is in third place. I'm a little bit upset. I won't lie to you. I thought Wild Turkey was going to beat out the Bakers, which is probably why I was so ecstatic when I thought that it was in first place. But at the same time, we all realized Antique 107 was going to be on the top here. I think the big surprise is Baker 7 over WB Saffle. Listen, this is a lesson even for myself. Number one, do blind tastings. There's no way that you can know what you like unless you take the name out of the game. Baker 7 was supposed to lose to WB Saffle because this is quote unquote allocated. It's hard to find. It's Wild Turkey. It's Campari Group. It's Eddie Russell Influence. All of that. But sitting on the shelf all the time here in Pennsylvania is the Baker 7. And I do have one right now, but now I know in the future, I can pick this bottle up confidently knowing that I'll probably enjoy it. Now, Weller Antique 107, that's a story for a different time. Obviously, if you have an opportunity to buy this at or around MSRP, you should definitely pick this up. And there's still nothing wrong with this Wild Turkey, this Campari group. This bottle right here, it's still delicious. It just happened to fall short and seem a little one dimensional compared to these two over here. Listen, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving holiday. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Again, we've got a lot of good things happening between now and Christmas. We do a lot of fun things on all of our social medias. Check us out on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, wherever you're watching this. Make sure you click that subscribe or follow button. Our Patreon link is in the description below. Come join us. We have a lot of cool things just for Patreons. Come chat with us 24-7 on Discord. Please don't drink and drive. Always drink responsibly and stay healthy, stay happy, stay drinking. Cheers, y'all. Baker 7.